Byzantine International Studio features two brand new marketplaces focused on cybersecurity and personal privacy. Let's check out a few of the 81 groundbreaking companies that are focused on protecting consumer personal privacy. This year we are showing our uh, new soft token technology that allows you to protect your data stored in the cloud, encrypting your files, your emails, and even your phone calls. This is a fully standalone smartphone built into a watch. You can see it's got my SIM card right here. This is run, running full-blown Android KitKat 4.4, so I've got my whole app library available to me. But most importantly, it's got Gold Key built in, so I can access all of those encrypted emails, encrypted files, and have complete security doing that. I can make phone calls from communicator to communicator that are completely encrypted. In 2014, the global spending for infrastructure and cloud services reached $174 billion. Hyper 3 is basically the answer to Cyber 4. I can basically change my layer of authentication every 30 seconds. Uh, passwords and credit card numbers, they get hacked because they're static. If you steal my credit card number, you can pretend to be me. Same thing goes for my password. Hyper 3 tokenizes my identity. That way, if you compromise any of my passwords or credit card numbers, you can never use them again. It's a Bluetooth low energy sticker. It's got over a year of battery life, and it's only $20. You simply fire up the phone, tap the reader, at which point our cards pop up. I'm going to choose my credit card, at which point I'm prompted to swipe my finger. When I swipe, I release a biometric token up to the cloud where Visa processes my transaction. What that means is that this machine is hacked, or if my phone has a virus, that token can never be reused again. My credit card number is never exposed, neither is my identity or my password. A 2013 Privacy Rights Clearinghouse report notes that physical theft, lost devices, and insider threats were responsible for 42% of U.S. data breaches. All the products have RFID protection, which means nobody can scan your credit card information. They have biometric locking mechanism. This is the SLIM. Holds up to 10 credit cards. I passport, the new one we're introducing, holds a passport, a couple of credit cards behind it. Big difference, has all the same features, RFID protection, Bluetooth capability, and this one has a touch mechanism. So you, you, this one, the difference is you can program up to five fingerprints in this. All of these can be Bluetooth to your, either your Android phone or your iPhone. So if you're in a restaurant, you have to leave your wallet or your phone laying on the counter. You can go about eight to 10 feet, arms go off. On both the cybersecurity marketplace offers consumers strategies to help them protect their information online. So we brought a, the world's first smart wallet to the show this year. It's a brand new innovation where you can securely score, uh, store tens of thousands of cards on a real physical uh, electronic wallet. And it's protected so that if you lose your wallet, you don't lose all your personal information. So you can only access it with either a voice biometric or a pin. And then what you do is you select a card. We have one single card here called a Rocket card. And that's um, that card will take on the characteristics of any other card that you choose to use. And you swipe it just like a regular credit card. But there's no identifying information here. So again, if you lose it, you don't lose your credit card. The personal privacy marketplace offers consumers cybersecurity solutions that provide peace of mind in this technology-driven world. So it's a case that simply attaches to your phone and then works with an app on your phone. And so it allows me to basically store all my credit cards in the app as well as all my member and ID cards. What we've done is we've used the existing MagStripe technology and came up with software and hardware that, that simulates the uh, magnetic stripe induction. So when, Instead of swiping a card, you're sending a magnetic field. So every point of sale system out there suddenly becomes a mobile payment terminal. Because this is a case, it's not built in the phone. I actually uh, can take out the card and can give this card to the waiter. And the waiter can take it to the, uh, to the pay station and I will get notified basically and that a payment was made. See the future of security with these exhibitors in the personal privacy and cybersecurity marketplaces. For CES TV, I'm Sarah Hope.